Today, I want to talk to you about how you can use the basic phenomenon and anatomy of our brain to have a happier life. It is possible to be happier, and I want to share with you how you can do this on a daily basis. I'm going to share with you some basic principles and make sure that you agree with me, okay? The first principle is that the quality of our life and happiness depends on the quality of the relationship we have with the people around us. If people around us are happy with us, we are happy. And if they're not happy with us, we are not happy. So in order to have a happier life, we have to find a way to make people around us happier. That was principle number one. Principle number two is that people don't have bad intentions. Everybody who does anything in his or her own mind is doing it for a good reason. Every day you get up and you have a, sense of, a, a series of routines. The things you do is based on your assumptions of what needs to be done that day. And everybody has good intentions, whether you're a Republican, Democrat, whether you're in this country or a different country. Everybody has a system of assumptions in their own mind based on their life experiences, and they do what they do because they think it's a good thing to do. So it's very important to know that people don't have bad intentions. Principle number three is that we need to take responsibility for our actions. So, for example, you can say that my spouse was rude to me and that's why I'm grumpy today. You are responsible for the actions that you take. After all, we just agreed. People don't have bad intentions. So if your spouse, your friend, your coworker tells you something, it's not what they say that bothers you. It's your interpretation of what they meant that bothers you. And your interpretation may be correct or maybe incorrect. So it's important to keep that in mind that if you do something, you can't say that person made me do it. That's for example, you're in traffic and things are not moving and you're angry. Well, the reason you're angry is because it's your interpretation that there should be no traffic, even though you live in Washington, DC. Whether your assumption is correct or not is questionable. So you can't say, the traffic made me angry. You need to take responsibility for how you feel and how you react. And that takes us to the next principle, which is, for every action, there is a consequence or reaction. For example, as I just mentioned to you, the traffic may, may trigger a reaction in you. There's a consequence. And most of the time, people may just react to what they hear or see based on their emotions. Something makes them upset and they show that they're not happy. But what they need to do, what you need to do, is to press the pause button when something happens and upsets you. You have to consider that it's not what they said or what had happened that has caused you to feel bad, it's your interpretation of that that has made you feel the way you do. And here, what I want you to know, the anatomy of the brain. There are two parts of the brain that helps you make decisions. Your frontal lobe, that help you make decisions based on logic, and your limbic system, or emotional part of the brain, that make you react based on instinct. So if there's a fire, you run. You don't have to sit and think about, is this the right thing to do? But most of the time, your frontal lobes have control over your limbic system. And you can use that control system to press the pause button. And when something bad happens, you ask yourself, do I want to have this reaction? Or do I want to pause and think, what would be the consequence of my reaction to this event? And if that consequence is what I want? So again, going back to the traffic example, if you realize that you getting angry doesn't solve any problems, and that instead of that, you can listen to soft music or you can call somebody you haven't talked for a while, and that's a better outcome, then you can choose to pick the outcome that has the better consequences. And this is quite important in your relationships. So if your spouse tells you why are you late again, 
you can say, well, I was working all day. Well, that's not going to be a good answer because then that brings out another question as to well, why don't you get your job done faster? But what about if you say, I'm sorry, I love you. Can I take you to dinner? And so your pause button can give you time to consider three or four reactions and then you can choose what will have the best outcome that will make you happier. And that is a secret. You have the free will to be happy or to be unhappy. Your brain has a mechanism of using logic to control your emotions. And as long as we know that the quality of life depends on the relationship we have with people around us, that people don't have bad intentions, and that we need to take responsibility for our actions and reactions, we appreciate that we can have better quality relationship with people around us. We can have an attitude of making people happy around us. And if they're happy, we're happy. Thank you.